to those who pledged their lives in sacred honor, was smiled upon by God and freed from chains and iron collar, he is held aloft on unity and by history revered for preserving peace through strength his wings now reach across two hundred years. But for each of those in one year more, God has smiled upon the core from the Barbary coast to the eastern sand by sword, by gun, or by bare hand. So it's been and shall be weighed, though many are born, few are made. Faithful always they shall remain, dogs to loose when war is waged. Morning, Sarge here. So, fly time. I don't know how many, <coughs> how many of you fly fish, tie your own flies. I know Paul Menard does. Uh, seen a couple of his little both short videos on Instagram. I hadn't noticed what kind of bobbin he uses. But uh, I didn't want to pay for like a right bobbin or one of those cool uh, automatic ones. So I started looking around at how to build them. Some of them are alright, but I didn't have some of those parts. So, started looking around in the junk drawers and hmm. Morgan Bones again. I want to see if it's uh, getting pretty dark. Smoke's good. Um, smoking uh, this morning uh, got me some Mississippi River. Again, it's been a long time since I smoked it. Um, a couple years ago, as everybody knows, it just had gone to shit. But <clears throat> I've heard good things recently, so I thought I'd buy some. The press uh, looked like it used to. Maybe not as tight, but pretty damn close. And it, it tastes pretty good. Um, I think it's still a little off, but uh, good enough to smoke. Uh, so... I decided to um, try to make my own bobbins for tying flies. So I was looking around, found a few of these. This is not the whole thing, this is just the tip. Now what this is, it's called an ESP port, and it's used in water treatment to take water samples, put a little filter on there and collect the sample direct without atmospheric contamination. So I took it apart. Didn't really know why they were in the junk drawer, because they're, well, the one was all stainless steel and the other one had a PVDF uh, insertion. But when I stuck this one in to turn it down, uh, it was wobbling a little bit and it may have been dropped or, I don't know, hit with something. It, it was bent. Uh, not much, but it didn't take much. It probably couldn't uh, unscrew it about with your fingertips, it, it should be able to unscrew with fingertips. Uh, look like, well, I had to take pliers. It looked like there'd already been pliers on it, and I had to take pliers to fully unscrew it. So that's what I did. So this is what I'm putting together. This is my bobbin. Uh, the tip's a little short. Now, the first ones I did, I used stainless steel. I think I used 8 inch stainless steel tube. And I must have thrown it out. But what was happening after the cut, even trying to trying to clean up the tip, uh, be spinning around, and if I was in that one spot just a little too much, it would just cut the thread. Um, very frustrating. So these are all polished, and I haven't had any issues with it so far. So it's uh, one of the ESPs, and this is a um, it's a split ring, probably a inch and a half split ring that I've stretched out, you know, uncoiled as much as possible, and then rebent. And it has pretty good tension. Um, and if I feel like I need more, if the, the bobbin starts to slip from the weight, then I'll add the rubber bands for a little more tension. Now the little tips are um, Delrin. I just turned down, drill a hole in them, and uh, epoxy them in. Uh, the, uh, uh, the split ring wire, it's a spring steel, so once you get into shape, you know, and it'll hold tension pretty well. 
it's silver soldered onto the stainless and then I got this uh, little piece of shrink tube just to cover everything up and uh, makes a pretty comfortable little grip spins real nice so that's what I'm going to run you through today um, I'll just show you some machining on it how I put it together and then uh, well maybe tie some flies later alright as usual stay frosty Got some Delrin in the chuck for uh, little half balls to put uh, the parts that hold the uh, spools in uh, the bottom. up the bobbins yesterday I was sitting around smoking and joking with J Mac and Sparky so smoking the uh, J 
Joe Case built Dagner Slayer. With my striper sniper. So uh, we're just going to carry on with uh, fabrication of the bobbin. And I did cut out the uh, little half balls for the uh, ends of the bobbin. So we'll go to the table and do some silver solder. piece of shrink tube on here it just slid nice and snug over the top around the wires and I heat it up shrink it down It's not working as good as I'd like, so take a little bit of uh, UV, uh, UV set epoxy, and I'm just going to put a little bit in the front and then in the back. got to be able to get the UV to it to set it so particular one is made by Loon for uh, fly tying but I think I've seen different um, different types that like Walmart you know for basic repairs haven't tried that one yet though
and got one more to do. Oh, these are the finished products. Yeah, a little wonky, not exactly the same, but they will function very well for uh, tiny flies. Thanks for watching.